Yep, one of those days. Not gonna go fishing outside, of course. Everything is freezed up. So, uh, gonna try to uh, make a mod to my Scotty uh, downrigger. Gonna uh, try to make a longer boom. Something between uh, maybe uh, 30 and 36 inches boom. So, let's do this. Okay, so here's my uh, Scotty uh, Depth Master. Uh, I want to uh, remove the boom from the base. I want to make it longer here. At first I wanted to uh, make it longer from here, but it's going to have too much weight since I'm going to use rebar. Uh, cost nothing just a uh, scrap from a uh, construction job site where I work so uh, now I need to remove everything to remove uh, the boom that uh, screw uh, here so first you remove the cover second you need to remove that nut here. Okay. So So remove this. Okay, nut is removed, now we need to remove this part here. You need to wiggle a bit because it goes into these bolts here. So this is the counter here, feet counter. Uh, now you have two nuts, one that is used for locking it okay so uh, it's 14 uh, millimeter this one here need to unscrew this is the locking nut now this can be unscrewed okay uh, let's put this somewhere I'm not gonna put grease everywhere wait sorry for this can remove this spool here not sure how it's okay let's just pull it and see what happened okay that's pretty easy now you may remove that the disc I'll just put the parts how I remove them. This is the brake handle. So it was like this. Okay. These are the brake pads. This goes like this. And there you go. 
I can have access to that screw here. That's what I wanted. And I'm there. Okay, that small block under that I showed you. This holds the uh, boom in place. Goes like this. So now I can remove the screw. And remove the boom. That was pretty easy. So now I want to stretch that boom by adding uh, a rebar inside it. Uh, so uh, I'll just go cut a piece. Probably will uh, have to grind it to make it sure it fits inside. Uh, at first I wanted to buy a tubing like four feet long, but I cannot find uh, the exact same uh, size of uh, that stainless steel uh, boom so uh, I'll just do it my way and it's gonna cost me nothing because uh, it's uh, only uh, <laughs> recycling uh, construction uh, material so okay so like I said I'm gonna use rebar but not the entire length uh, I have finally found uh, a bit of uh, electric tubing. Uh, it's not the exact same size of uh, the stainless steel uh, boom from Scotty. It's a bit smaller. There's some play. Even if I would use uh, this like uh, 3 feet, 4 feet, whatever you want, it's not the same strength and same size it's a bit smaller so I'm just gonna use it to uh, extend the uh, boom length and what I did is use the 5.8 rebar grind it a bit like you see here uh, the first one I grind too much of it so it was loose uh, in the inside I've cut a piece of uh, 6 inch rebar so three inch in and three inches gonna go into the uh, electric pipe like this and it's gonna fit tight but I'm gonna make a small hole and put a screw here and a screw here Okay, so when screws in, I'll just top off with the grinder the uh, tap from that screw and uh, we'll be good to go. Okay, so now I'm going to put a bit of grease in here, just like I said. I did on the uh, the one into the stainless steel too. Put grease in. Okay. okay. Now I'm gonna put. tube in just like that now I'm gonna drill another hole 
at a uh, inch and a half so it's going to be in the middle and it should uh, be okay Right there. Now, I need to cut the excess of uh, these two uh, self tapping screws with the grinder. So, there's my new extended boom, so uh, let's reassemble this. I'll probably uh, remove the rod holder since I have one on the boat, because it's pretty heavy, but I will see uh, when using it. Forgot one last thing, I uh, need to drill a hole here. Uh, position of this is one inch center okay now hold this drill here this is going to base just like that. Now, as you can see, I should have, yeah, 36 inch boom. So, need to put the screw here, like this. There you go, nice and tight. Okay, now this goes here. You can uh, see this, you can download it easily on the Scotty website. So you start with this, after it's this, 
brake pads are there. Now the disc, the uh, brake disc. Now the spool. Okay. You have that big washer here. This is what's going to make the uh, tension on the brake. So, as you can see, if I do this, it's not engaging the brake. It's not tight enough. So, put a little more pressure on it. So you re remove the brake, it should engage the brake. It goes, and if you pull, brakes engage. It's maybe a bit too tight. So you can let let it go. And now it is gonna engage. So it's about right right now, I think. So now you need to lock it with the second nut. Now it's locked. And you need those two bolts to be uh, two nuts to be uh, aligned with the six pan. Uh, about the same place because you need to put the line counter on top of it just like that now put back that nut Everything is working. As you can see. And now and now brakes engage. Now you can put back cover. And voila, you're done. So now you can see that I have a 36 inch boom for my downrigger. I'll just reassemble the rest uh, on it. And like I said, uh, I'll probably uh, bring this back here or just remove it since I have a rod holder just right 
where uh, my downrigger will be uh, installed. Okay, so here is uh, the final uh, product. So, as you can see, I have put my uh, rod holder in the back before it was right here. This is the Scotty uh, Depmaster with 23 inch boom. And as you can see, the tape is right at the base here. And now I'm at. Yeah, 37 inch boom. So this is my mod for my downrigger. So if you like what you saw, give it a thumbs up. Maybe you can leave a comment or share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.